God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord, lay your healing hand upon me, for I have sinned. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil, will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus, even my friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend. If my foes do not shout in triumph over me, if you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen, amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, lay your healing hand upon me, for, for I, I have, have sinned. sinned. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength a helper close at hand in time of distress, so we shall not fear though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps, he burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The mighty Lord is with us. The, the God, God of, of Jacob, Jacob is our stronghold. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings and sharer in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly, as God would have you do, not under constraint and not for shameful profit either, but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and ever prayed for them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a faithful Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your people, 
when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion, through their intercession continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.